since we talked a little bit about compound interest and the different types of compounding rates you can have, I think it's a good a good time to talk about something called depreciation. So depreciation is essentially the process in which the value of a specific item or product decreases over time. So to give you an example of that, consider that you buy a computer now that costs two thousand dollars, but then you predict that its value is going to decrease by 40% per annum. So every single year that passes, its value is going to decrease by 40%. So you won't be able to sell it for more than you bought it for in the first place. And you may be thinking, why is that the case? Well, essentially with any piece of technology or any kind of product that you buy, it's not going to last forever. And the more that you keep that product, the more you use it, the more it's going to become um, obsolete. So basically with a computer or a mobile phone or even a tablet, what is happening is that after a few years it is essentially going to be replaced by new pieces of technology. And this is something that happens quite a lot with mobile phones for example. After just two years you need to get a new mobile phone because the one you have is already out outdated. It's not going to be useful. It's not going to have all, all the new features, all the new capabilities that all the other products of this time have. So you're going to have to sell it for less and then try to save more money to buy the new one. So in this particular case, what would be the value after three years? So this is going to be something very similar to compound interest, but instead of adding some percentage, we're actually reducing a value by a percentage. So let's say we start off with $2,000. And then we're going to subtract 40% of the original amount. That's going to be 0 0.40 times 2,000. And we can pretty much write this down as 2,000 times 1 minus 0 0.4. So that's going to be the value after one year. After two years, what's going to happen is we're going to grab this new value. And we're going to, so that's 1 minus 0 0.4. We're going to multiply once again by 1 minus 0 0.4 because we're decreasing it by 40% once again. So we can rewrite this as 2000, 1 minus 0 0.4 squared. And you can imagine that if you continue this pattern after, say, n number of years, you can predict that based on this rate of depreciation, you're going to get the following case. So you're going to have $2,000 times 1 minus 0 0.4 raised to the power of n. So if you look at this formula, it looks very, very similar to our compound interest formula, with the only difference that instead of adding the percentage, we're subtracting it. So in general, the formula for depreciation would be new amount equals to original amount or original balance. And then we're going to have 1 minus the rate raised to the power of n. So in this case, if we use that formula, what is the value after three years? All we need to do is say, okay, so the value after three years is going to be 2,000 times 1 minus 0 0.4 raised to the power of 3, which is 2,000 times 0 0.6 raised to the power of 3. <coughs> And let's put that in our calculators to see what that gives us. And that's going to be $432. So basically, this computer you buy now for $2,000 is only going to be worth about $432 in the future, in or, or essentially three years in the future. And this, is, it, this might be a little bit of an extreme example. I'm not saying that every single computer is going to depreciate at this same rate. I mean, this was just an example, but I have actually seen computers that decrease by this much in just a few years. And you would be surprised as to how technology can completely lose its value. So to give you an example of things that increase in value generally, things like a house, for example, or a property, this will normally always increase in value as time goes by. So you can always be safe that if you own a house, you know that the value of the house is going to increase. And this is especially true 
if if you're living near to an area that is in high demand so if you're living near the beach for example or a very touristic area like circular key or near the harbor bridge or something like that the value of this thing is always going to go up like, by a crazy amount but when you're talking about things like technology or just essentially things you use on a, on a daily basis that they deteriorate over time they, they're going to lose their edge and they're going to become outdated so technology is always going to go down the same happens to cars because cars are going to need more repairs they're going to basically break down more often as time goes by so anything like that that is actually going to become less useful over time is always going to decrease in value so I guess the, the whole point of this video was to ensure that you understand how you can first of all manipulate the company interest formula to account for things that are actually decreasing in value over time and the second thing is to show you that investing in technology is probably not a good idea because you, you might think oh I want to uh, I want to like buy this really fancy computer right now and it costs like ten thousand dollars or something well just keep in mind that after three years that thing is not going to be worth even one fifth of what it was worth now so if you want to make an investment make it in something that is actually going to increase over time so things like a house for example or even collectible items so things like this so for example things that things that people collect tend to go up in value because the more time that goes by the the more uh, people want to have them and the more demand there is the, the value is going to increase but if you're going to invest way too much money in technology or cars or things like that you're not going to get anything out of it you won't be able to sell it for a whole lot in a few years so i guess that's a, a thing that you need to be careful of when you're dealing with these kind of investments and so on